Ghost Doctor, what's out there? What did this to him? Tro... they're called Trodon Pectinodon. They were meant to be euthanized, but... What? You let them out? No, no! I kept them in quarantine, for study. They... I thought they may have been leaving the pen somehow, but I wasn't certain. We knew about those damn creatures all along. While we were out there, exposed, humping around like idiots looking for our pilot... Billy, wait! We were nearly killed by one of our own men. Probably bitten by one of those things, just like Decaf. Who knows where his catatonic body is now? Both our teams are dead. Oscar's dead! All because of your dinosaurs, all because of you! Oscar doesn't want this. He died helping us all survive. He wouldn't want her dead. Had he known, though. Anyway, this witch is a liar. She's lied to all of us, put me in the direct line of danger to protect her agenda and her precious freak show. What else is she hiding? Please, if I knew sooner... Oh, shut it. Yes, she lied to all of us, but she also helped when she could. Nima is alive because of her. She could have warned us. I wasn't entirely sure yet. For all I knew, she could have gotten into the quarantine pens. Oh, so what, I'm the enemy? I'm the bad guy here? I'm just trying to open your eyes. I'm trying to show you the truth and bring someone to account for it. You are the bad guy. I saw that Oscar had changed his ways, but you become everything I thought he was, and you are about to add murderer to that list. Oh, come on! This isn't on me! It's time for her to take responsibility! Just it, Billy. She's not the one responsible. This falls on the shoulders of Hammond and Ingen, and now we're all suffering for it. Still, Billy, let her go. We need every able mind and body we can get. All she has to say is it's my fault. It's my fault. Come on, Doc, let me hear it. No, it wasn't. Say it! It's. it's. M my fault. There. It wasn't so difficult, was it? Your friends may have saved you here. At least I got the truth out of you. You want her alive? You've got it. <sighs> just mark my words. She will save just one of those animals before she lifts a finger to help you. Now, everyone make themselves useful. I've got a tend to decay. We can't stay here long. Let's just give Billy a minute and see if we can find anything useful. A way out, even. Okay. We'll do a sweep of the room and check in when we're done. Agreed? Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. see anything. Maybe it's clear. I think they're empty. They're still heavy, though. Huele excremento. This great. It looks big enough for everyone. And it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Just great. It's locked. Anyone happen to have a key? I don't understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ova um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating, but these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. 
They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. Are you okay? Jess, Han, leave him alone. So this whole trip was like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting? Mission accomplished. Billy, we should cover decaf. I don't want Jess to see this. Yeah. tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. I pick this lock. Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. Locked. A flare kit. This might come in handy. I don't want to get stuck in a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Maybe Billy could use more time. I think so, too. Nima, what can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It, it went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah, like ojos del lobo. These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with a toxin. Nima's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes. Definitely. Jess, stay away from the vents. No more sneaking off, understand? I'm not going anywhere, Dad. I hate being trapped on here like a rat. Jess, stay close to me, okay? I'll keep you safe. Dad? That's a good idea, hon. Jerry, we should get moving. Yeah, are you ready? This is not the time for grieving. We have to move. Maybe we should... She's right. Billy, did you find something? Nothing. 
Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Coming through the vent! Pass the door. Jerry, <laughs> get that crate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll grab that something. The air tank.
No. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We, we need to head towards the north. The staff village is inland. That's the wrong way. It's a junction box. Which lines go toward... Pond people, they're still after us. The desalination plant. That's where the marine exhibit is. Look, follow the red conduit. be 40 feet underground. I have no idea where we are. We can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. have enough to go on here. I need details, landmarks, something unique. I just don't have enough details to make a decision. Look down the corridors. I need to know what you see. Describe it in as much detail as you can. Okay, these symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does that help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left and then crosses over to the other side. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. I think it's this one. How can you keep them all straight? There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. There's a ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. Looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right.
There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. We could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? No, not a hundred percent. Let me double check. Could be here. I guess they all kind of look the same. Okay, everyone, I think I've got it. Are you sure? I'm positive. We must be here. It's the only one that completely matches our surroundings. Okay, here we are. The desalination plant is here. We're not that far. No, we follow this route here. We follow any water mains at junctions in the direction of convergence. Even still, there's barely any turns. Look, just memorize this route. down there i have to go find her what back down there with those monsters no jerry she needs you safe jess is a strong and resourceful girl she's doing like we are doing surviving you can't know that i won't leave her to those animals jerry look at me if we go back down there we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder the others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow we know where they're going the marine exhibit that's where laura would take her and yoder is with them oh god if we're going to join them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? I don't know. I don't even know where we are. I'll figure out where we are. Sorkin was following water mains. Where would they go? 
Most of the water is piped in from a lagoon to the north. Lagoon? I know this place. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Por el amor de Dios. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. There was never anything like them on this island before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. What does your name mean? It means little fish. You know, like uh, the ones that have so many colors. I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. Spared no expense. Hammond, the man who made all this, he runs Ingen. It's something he always says, he'll spend whatever it takes to make the park a success. So, he spent it all on the dinosaurs, not on my people. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. He sounds like a brave man. Were you too close? When we were on the island, yes. We were always together. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the Earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. When Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. He was right. To me, everything had a string attached. You remind me of Jess. I mean, that's how it used to be with us before the divorce. I'd take her to the museums or to the zoo. She'd always climb up onto things, you know, such a climber. She can't not climb over things, into things. Climbed into a tiger pen once. <laughs> with a live tiger. But not anymore? No. Things haven't been the same since the divorce. Do you still blame him for everything? No, I have forgiven him. I know to blame Injun now. He would always remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood. They get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs. Or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher. And at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. You named your daughter Atlanta? Yes. It's a beautiful name. I named her after the city. That's where I will take her after this job. That's a good strong name. 
and a good city. I want for Atlanta to be free. I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be and refuse the Fisher's Bay. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Just changed my life too. Choose my second. Second wife. Second daughter. Apparently I'm the genetic carrier of rebellion because both my daughters got it. I worked so hard to protect Jess and keep her out of trouble. What about you? Did you turn out so good because your parents kept you out of trouble? Me? I was a little hellion myself. Uncontrollable. <laughs> It's in my genes. Mm. Oh, now you know this is different. Still, one thing Jess really hasn't had in her life is a present father figure. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? Nima, I want to trust you. Help me get Jess off this island, and I will do whatever I can to help you and your daughter. I could not hold you to that, Jerry. If we don't get off this island, you might not have to. Please. All right, Jerry. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. Shh. Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features with modern-day birds. For instance, we now know that many theropod dinosaurs from the Jurassic period vocal organs are just like modern birds. We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. Next stop, the Jurassic Park Marine Facility and Aquarium. Would you look at this? What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. That's a lot of fish. How many whales are they feeding? I don't know. It looks like each of these tanks could feed three or four orcas per day. Oh, you're a fish expert now. I can make an educated guess. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. This is a hatchery. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Hold up. All clear. Dad! Jess! Oh, thank God! Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I I'm okay. Just, can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily, someone left the tour program running. Thanks. You mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. 
Unless, of course, everything is controlled by the computer systems, even the phones. If the power outage outlasted the battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact Injin and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is gonna be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? That's right, Doc. We're gonna murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio! That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home! What do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Laura? Wait, what are you... Where is she going? I don't know. This rotunda, it's where the control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it, get that elevator back up here! Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Interesting concept. Living fossils. Well, I guess you can't expect a mosquito to feed on fish swimming hundreds of meters under the sea. This little pool is cool. Were these creatures all cloned like the dinosaurs? No, these aren't actually extinct animals, Jess. They live in the oceans today. They're called living fossils because they haven't evolved much from the ancient fossil forms discovered by paleontologists. Oh, is that a horseshoe crab? Could be. To be honest, I don't really know all that much about sea fauna. <laughs> fauna. How are you holding up, Jess? I can't stop shaking. I'd literally rather be back in jail for shoplifting. I'm just so tired of running, Dad. I know, I know, me too. But we're safe for now. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. It looks like a Mosasaur. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry, there are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Then what are all the feeder fish for? Feeder fish? Yeah, we came through a big room filled with tanks of fish. Laura said they were for feeding other animals, like whales. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to any conclusions. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Information. Sure could use some now. Oh good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh. That's easy enough. Huh, very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic Era as daily key codes. Okay, so the plaque for the Paleozoic Era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. There's enough here for me to deduce the order, if I can just recall the order of the display. Paleozoic, Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian.
I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Oh, what is that mnemonic? Um, camels often sit down carefully. Perhaps they're yada, yada, yada. Permian. Sounds right. Okay, best guess. Is everything all right between you two? Mind your own business and get the elevator running. I wasn't talking to you. No more fighting. Things are bad enough as they are. New code. Let's keep it simple. <gasps> hey, don't open that. Are you crazy? Someone will see. Relax. See what? Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. You won't lay a finger on her. Who's just kidding around? Everyone, I got the elevator working! <sighs> about time. What's going on here? Nothing. We're all cool. Over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. Dad, my ears. Attention. What's going on? The Lagoon Rotunda and Spectacular is housed in a pressurized underwater environment. We suggest you pinch your nose and push your breath to equalize your ears while we descend. If you experience any lasting discomfort or feel unusually giddy, let your attendant know immediately. Giddy? They're talking about nitrogen narcosis. It's a risk of breathing pressurized air. What makes you the expert? I, uh, saw it in a movie. Whoa! Is that where we're going? I think so. Careful, I'll lead. Cool! Look at that! I want to speak with Hammond. No, this can't wait. Can you connect me to Mr. McGuire? Or no, Peter Ludlow. Please hurry. No, look, this is Dr. Laura. Oh, Swift. I have a bad feeling about this. Park. I am still on the premises. Get me somebody. Mr. Parker, I do not need rescuing. I do not want the bombing waylaid. I want it stopped. It's not contaminated. This is a wild It's locked from the inside. 
These animals are not diseased. They are extremely endangered. You're not listening to me! Good find, honey. Laura, it's me, Jerry. Laura? Jerry, I hear you, and I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a lot easier now. What have you been doing? We're gonna stop the bombing, Jerry. This island must be preserved. I have taken the remaining survivors hostage. There are four others, three Americans and one Costa Rican. I won't let them go unless the plans to bomb the island are completely rescinded. You have no right to hold us like this! Rights are just an ideological construct. Don't turn this into a, a philosophy debate! What rights do the dinosaurs have? Don't they have the right to survive? Do their rights outweigh any of ours? It is not our rights versus theirs. Our dinosaurs are phantoms. Majestic as they may be, alive as they may be. We brought them into a world that is no longer prepared for them. We have a responsibility to keep them isolated and under reign for the safety of our ecosystem. It's not rights, it's responsibility. And we have a responsibility to preserve our creations and allow them a chance to survive on their own terms. We've got to do something. Like what? We're stuck between two locked doors. We wouldn't be in this mess if I had killed her when I had the chance. If you don't offer me some sort of guarantee that the island will be preserved, I will have to escalate matters. This is lunacy! Fine, put the military on the phone. Hello? Hello? You want to see contamination of the global ecosystem? Laura. Laura, please, listen to them. Listen to reason. You're being irrational. Nature is irrational. Rationalizations haven't gotten results. I think it's time to put matters back in nature's hands. Laura, there are other options here. Holding us against our will to save the dinosaurs is only one poorly thought out solution. You're smarter than that, Laura. I know, Jerry. I know what I'm doing. I clearly expressed the consequences of threatening this island. I scored a line in the sand that has been ignored and trampled over by InGen, by the government, and now I exercise my resolve. Laura? I'm going to free the Mosasaur. Are you mad? A land dinosaur paddling to the mainland is one thing, but you're talking about releasing an apex predator into over 70% of the global ecosystem. It's only one. It can be recaptured. Before it eats the last of the humpbacks? Oh, don't be dramatic. Laura, don't. <gasps> Plan B. This island and the scientific treasure it holds, I have been forced to take an action. It's not too late. We can reverse this. No. I locked the system down. There's nothing you can do. I've opened the gates and the Mosasaur is free to leave. Laura, you have to- No, Jerry. This isn't up for debate. 
We have to show InGen. Look out! Everybody, be cool and stay away from the window. Be cool? That's right. What? You want an I told you so? I don't know about you, but I came here to make a phone call. Hello, this is William Yoder, ID 4122. Put me through to Haskell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The U.S. Embassy. Report as follows. The island is completely overrun. Alpha team killed in action. Save one. Myself. Bravo team killed in action. Two helicopters disabled. Two civilian casualties. I have access to a seaworthy boat and I will evacuate the remaining survivors. Yes, sir. The military may proceed. Ninety minutes. Understood, sir. What's happening? Who did you call? That's far enough. What? You're not coming with me. There's going to be a tragic accident, Jerry. Nima, we have everything we need. We're finishing this without them. What? No. What do you mean, no? We've got an agreement, remember? An agreement doesn't involve killing Jerry and Jess. What's going on? I'm sorry, Jerry. I was sent here to retrieve dinosaur embryos from Injun. I... I don't understand. You're... You're a corporate spy? Yes. Damn it, Nima! I trusted you! It's not like that. Yoder took the can. He wants it for himself. I'm trying to help you and Jess. What can? A can of shaving cream. It has a compartment to smuggle the embryos off the island. Damn it, Nima. You're blowing it. No, you are. Oscar put his faith in you. He may have been a devil, but he wore his sins on his arm for everyone to see. You, you are just a mask with nothing behind it. No, you can't do this! Don't you care? Don't you care about Oscar or Decap? That's enough. Everyone stay back. I'm gonna give you a sporting chance here. Billy, Once wait. I let go of the spoon, there ain't no coming back. Don't do this! Run! Is anybody hurt? Is everyone all right? You mean, besides being trapped in this bubble by that desgraciado? We're as good as dead. Don't say that. Somebody might, somebody will come for us. Oh, Jerry. Yoder left us here. He'll take the boat and not tell anyone about us. Maybe he won't take the boat. He has the canister. He knows where the boat is. 
He, uh, doesn't have the canister. What? I'm sorry. I promise not to steal anymore. Okay, but... that one's a freebie. Jerry, look! Oh, great. Just great. Why is it flooding? Must be the damage to the door. We're losing air pressure. This place will flood right up to the highest hole in the room. Damn it! Even if we could open the door against the pressure, the whole rotunda is flooded. There's nowhere to go. Wait a second. I remember. Maybe there still is a way out. If we swim. Swim? swim? We won't make it 20 feet with that Mosasaur swimming around. Maybe. Look at that pipeline. It leads out of this lagoon. There are caves at the far end. Those caves connect to others that lead back to the beaches. We use the pipeline as cover. And you think we can hold our breath the whole way? Dad, look! There's diving here! No, 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 no. We don't know the first thing about scuba diving. I do. What? We have to distract the Mosasaur. Figure something out and meet us back down here. Scuba diving? Come on! How could this be so complicated? I don't know thing one about diving. Dad, don't mess with the mixture valve. They're all preset. Since when do you know about diving? Remember those lessons you wouldn't let me take? Did your mother override my decision? Um, actually, Steve bought me lessons. It was a secret. Mom's boyfriend? Yeah. If it's any constellation, I got grounded and Steve slept on the couch for a week. Are you sure about these sea caves? I used to swim this lagoon as a child. With the air tanks, it'll be easy. Famous last words. Pardon? Nothing. How are you holding up, Jess? Okay, I guess. I'd feel a lot better if you weren't trapped in the bottom of the lagoon. Don't worry. We're going to get out of this. We need the wetsuits. The water should be warm. This deep, and this time of the day, we would totally go hyperthermic. Don't worry, Dad. Neoprene makes everyone look good. It's not my modesty I'm worried about. Wonder how long it'll take for this room to flood. Let's not find out, Dad. I'll be right back. Feeder program. B, pool four. That looks like the one scheduled for today's feeding. That ought to keep it busy. Okay, hon. What do we do? Dad, I changed my mind. These are rebreathers and I've never actually used one. I'm not ready for this. Hey, you could do no. this. No! What if something goes wrong? I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone else to get hurt. Sweetheart, look at me. You were right about me. I don't give you the trust you deserve. I don't give you a chance to prove it either. But here, now, you've done more than enough to earn that trust. I know you're capable of great things. I trust you, Jess. I know this is something you can do. I just... I just don't want you to go away. I'm so tired of you always going away. I know, honey, but I'm here right now. And I'm not gonna leave you alone. I'll be here with you all the way. Now, what's the diver signal for okay? It's universal, duh. <laughs> right, right. Well, I promise to signal you whenever you check on me, okay? I'm scared. As scared as that time you accidentally walked into Uncle Wallace's room while he was washing his nose? It was so gross. I didn't know it was, like, prosthetic. Okay, Jess, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. So, how do these things work? Well, these are closed-circuit rebreathers. They look custom-designed. The tank is small, maybe 15 minutes of air. Is that enough? 
But it recycles the air you exhale. It should work for about 45 minutes. Try not to freak out. You'll use air faster. You might even mess up the CO2 scrubbers. That sounds bad. CO2 poisoning is totally bad. This is the regulator. It's built into the mask. It wants to help you breathe. Don't fight it. And don't hold your breath. Okay, don't hold my breath. That's it. The suit's mostly automated. It'll keep you, like, buoyant and manage your oxygen. Oh, and try to swim casual. Swim casual? Don't spaz out. It attracts sharks. What about mosasaurs? Probably them, too. Turn around.
By the lighthouse. Yes, that must be it. Wait, I don't see anyone on it. Maybe a dinosaur ate them. Maybe Billy ate them. Oh! Well, well, well. Fortune smiles upon the brave. Hey, Dad! I thought I'd worked everything out. Hadn't accounted for a little thief here. Well played, Jess. Well played. But then. I was sure I had buried my ticket off this island at the bottom of the sea. But, lo and behold, you slippery sons of bitches survived. Wait, 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 wait. Did you... did you swim out of there? You bastard. What will your bosses think when they learn that you tried to murder us? But they won't learn about that. Because one way or another, you're not gonna tell them. I just don't know how we got to this point, Nima. You were the last one of my kind I thought I could trust. Didn't start out that way, but we had worked out a mutually beneficial deal! But now, I don't even have that. All that's left for me is that damn canister. Now hand it over, Missy. Ah! Nice one. Almost hurt. You looking for this? You know, things don't have to be this way. We'll kiss and make up and share this payout just like we planned. Talk too much, Yoder. Are we gonna fight or have boring conversation? Oh, you're pretty good. Come on, Nima. You're a merc just like me. You got bills to pay? Are these two really worth all this? They are worth more than your pathetic life. I would trade your life even for Oscars. No more talk. Shut up and fight. Right. Playtime's over. go? Is that the little thing we're fighting over? Oh, huh? What? That? What's that? I can have it? Why so generous all of a sudden? <laughs> you wanna be the hero? Just... You wanna break our deal! Do you feel that? Oh my god. Stop! You wanna make new friends? Yoder! And Nima, I don't like it.
my daughter. Guys? Nima, I made a promise. I'll figure something out. Come back to Dallas with us. We'll find a way to get you and your Marikita. Guys! How much did you say those embryos were worth? 